bugs, butterflies are flying about. That means springtime and bats. You may not think about bats this time of year, but this is when our local bats are having their babies. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Carol from the Discovery Studio, and I really like bats. I invited some of my bat friends to keep me company this week. Bats are so interesting. I like to share some things about bats with you today. Let's begin with what a bat is. Bats are mammals. Mammals are warm-blooded. They produce their own body heat, which is the same temperature year-round. Uh, they um, are covered with fur. They have backbones. They have live babies. And when their babies are born, they drink milk from their mother, just like people do. Most bats are nocturnal. They fly at night and sleep during the day. That's what nocturnal means. There are over a thousand species of bats, but they don't all live around here. Here in Virginia, we only have about 17 bats. We have another one or two that come in for migration. That's why I say there's only 17 of them. Uh, there are uh, different categories of bats. There are the mega bats, which some of them have a wingspan of over six feet long. And then there are the micro bats. Some of the micro bats only weigh as much as a bumblebee or as a, a dime. They're about the size of a bumblebee, weigh as much as a dime. Bats live in either caves or trees. They, some of them live in the litter below trees where they hibernate. Um, they live in old mines, in buildings, in attics. They like to hibernate where the temperature is going to be kind of steady all year long, or all winter long, rather. Um, if a bat gets disturbed while they're hibernating, it makes them use up some of the energy that's stored in their fat, and they might not have enough energy to get through the whole winter. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. They have a very lightweight body, which is built for flying. They have very strong wings, which carry them through the air. Their scientific name is Cryoptera, which means hand wing. This is a scientific specimen of a real vampire bat. He's not alive, but he's still real. They do eat tiny amounts of blood, but don't worry, they don't live around here. This one is a good model, so we can see the anatomy or structure of the bat. And see his nice cryoptera, his hand wing, the arms, and then the fingers, all connected together which is a, by a membrane which is also connected to his body. Hold your hand out while we look at the bat. Here you can see the arm, the elbow, the lower portion of the arm, the thumb, and the two, three, four fingers, all connected by a thin piece of skin called a membrane. They have large ears on some of the bats, but some bats will actually have very tiny ears. Some bats have big eyes, some bats have small eyes. They all have the same five senses we do, which is the touch, the taste, the smell, the sight, and the hearing. Some bats have a tail which is encapsulated or enclosed in the membrane at the bottom. Some bats have hardly any tail at all. At the end of their feet, they have very long claws on their, their foot. Echolocation works like this. The bat emits a very high-pitched sound. It goes out until it hits the bug, and then it bounces back where the bat hears it with his ears. That high-pitched sound is so high 
that we can't hear it. We humans can't hear it with our ears. It requires a special instrument. A sound travels out of the bat's mouth, hits the object like that big juicy bug up there, bounces back, and that is called an echo. That's how we get the, the term echo location. They know where the bug is by where it is, um, where the echo comes. Quicker than a wink, after the, the sound comes back, the bat knows exactly where his insect is and he catches it. Lucky for the bat, he also knows if, he's, if the sound is hitting a tree so he can dart to avoid crashing. Other sounds which we can hear are, are made by bats. Those are their communication sounds. They use it to talk with each other and to locate their babies in a crowded roost. Bats are not blind. They can see very well, but remember, they're up in the dark, so they can't see without the light. Sometimes when the moon is bright or through the street lights, when they're chasing bugs around the lights, they will turn off their echolocation. Their eyes are so good that they can see the tiny back fin of a fish just above the water. Some bats eat fish. Other bats eat frogs, and they can see a frog camouflaged in a bed of moss. Just like us, bats need food and shelter to survive. Many bats are, are left without homes when their trees are cut or mines and caves are disturbed. If a sleeping bat is disturbed in hibernation, they use up all the energy that's stored in their fat and they could die. Bats, like any mammal, can carry rabies, which is a deadly virus. Never pick up or pet a bat. Grounded bats may be sick or injured. When provoked or aggravated, they can and will bite, although they are not normally aggressive. It means they don't normally go after people, but you don't want to take a chance. Let an adult know if you find a bat. Keep your pets away from the bats, too. Most rabies cases in Virginia come from raccoons, foxes, and stray cats. Stay away from them, too. Celebrate the good things our local bats do for us, like eating bugs which could destroy our farm foods, eating those pestial mosquitoes and pollinating plants. Bats need friends and places to live. Old mines, buildings, and caves are dangerous to people, so they are being closed and torn down. Bats lose their homes when trees are being cut and leaves burned, leaving fewer places for the bats to live. We can be bats friends. We can give bats their own houses. This is a bat house. It has no door like a birdhouse might. The bats actually enter through a space at the bottom. There, there is a gap in the lower portion of the bat house which allows some air circulation so that the bats can choose a place which is the right temperature for them. Bat houses are simple to build. Your family can build a bat house. There are many free patterns available. Inside, the measurements are very critical, though, so measure carefully. Instructions as to where to place them, uh, such as on the side of a building or on a pole, where we can safely watch them in the evening, are also provided with your building instructions. If you haven't seen the bats this spring, try visiting some of the bat cams and internet videos. If you check out the live bat cams, Remember that they may not be active during the day. Go back and watch them at night when the bats start to wake up. Remember, bats do like to sleep during the day. So, from our house to yours, see you next time.